How to flash the SD card on the Onefinity CNC. Start by making sure that all power is removed from the controller. Once we have all power removed, we'll start with the number 3 metric key and unscrew the front 4 bolts. Once the 4 bolts are removed, we can remove the front face plate of the controller. Do not disconnect the power switch. For push button controllers, we'll remove the front face plate, then disconnect the blue wire connector on the back of the button. Slide the top covering of the controller forward, exposing the board and the SD card. Pull the SD card out. It is not a spring-loaded slot. Download and install Raspberry Pi Imager on your computer. Choose the OS you've downloaded from the Onefinity forum, link below. This will be the Onefinity Raspy image. It can be compressed or in a zip file. Now choose your storage device. Make sure that you only have the card from the Onefinity controller plugged in without any other storage devices or you will write over them. Select yes and the OS will start writing onto the card. If it asks you to insert a disk, you can exit out of that tab. We can now see that it's writing and we're going to leave this until it writes then verifies. Once that's done, we'll just click continue. Once flashing is complete, we will reinsert the card back into the controller. Make sure the back side of the card is facing up towards the top of the controller. We can now place the front of the controller back on and reattach it with the four bolts. Back at the front of the controller, we can pull the blue connector through the front opening of the controller and connect it to the push button on the front plate. The connector only fits on the prongs of the button in one orientation, that is with the clip on top of the button. With our button reconnected, we can now secure the plate back to the controller housing with the four bolts. This concludes flashing the Onefinity SD card.